Hi guys, this is Maima and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a cocktail outfit. This is what you're getting to. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. White being a very light color, I would rather switch it up to black. For my all black look, I'm gonna go with a skirt that is very comfortable and elegant looking with this top that I'm wearing. I wore the top before because the makeup and the hair was spoiled my entire look. Here it is. This is what the blouse looks like. This is a black plain satin skirt and we haven't used any can can in this we have used something that is very different something on the edges of this skirt more affordable and much more practical when we think of the space that a lehenga is going to take so we've added a strip i'm not sure what we call it but that's some strip that helps the skirt to be flowy most of my outfits are from pinterest and this one is also no doubt from Pinterest. This is my inspiration for today's look. But I would like to do some switch ups for my vibe and freestyle. The base is going to be an evergreen one. Let's start with moisturizing. I'm going to take immense time to massage the products into my skin and it is very important in winters. With winters, you need to have a well moisturized and a well done skin before you dive into makeup. It is going to elevate your look to another level. But moisturizing will also help your makeup look as natural as it can. You can check out my video on winter skincare tips right here. The next thing you have to do it is primer skin. So this is a silk blower primer from Prosh Beauty formerly known as Plume Beauty and this is very hydrating. There are many people on the internet saying this is a dupe. It's a dupe for the Embrolis. I think that's what we call it. I always happen to start with the eyes so I'm going to be taking my concealer as my eyeshadow base and we're just going to blend this out using my pack concealer brush i'm using my favorite concealer from k beauty in the shade 160 and medium and this is gorgeous like this was just made for a brown skin this is one of the concealers that is always out of stock so that, that is pretty much a brown girl favorite then Makeup artists tend to go for shades lighter than your original shade. And that is something that, you know, just gives me an ick. I would rather go for a shade that is much closer to my skin tone, maybe one shade lighter. I'm using this powder from Root Cosmetics. I'm just going to take my lightest powder brush. I'm just going to flick it out, the extra. And I'm just going to move my brush in a very circular motion so that it disperses well and doesn't leave on extra. So now that my eyes are set, the powder itself helps me blend it out a little better than normally. So I do prefer a layer of powder on top of my eye. Blacks and reds go super well together, but if you are very conscious about being too bold or you're just not in a mood to be bold, you can switch up to browns. A mixture of a black and a brown does look nice. If I apply red on my lip and also on my eyes, it's gonna look horrific. I don't think anybody wants to see a whole red look. And just in case you want to, you might find it up here. So now that we can rule out an all red look, let's switch up to something more minimal but bold. We have to now pick between aesthetics of black and a brown. I think a mixture of both of them would go really well. Let's see how that goes, shall we? To keep it simple yet elegant, I want to do a smoky eyeliner. And with a smoky eyeliner, I can actually experiment with both brown and black so let's do that to apply a smoky eyeliner i'm going to use this pot this gel pot from forever 52 and this is super super creamy it's very small yes but i have been using this for a while it goes a long way you will also be needing a liner brush something like this and a fluffy and a flat brush like this make sure to not take too long with the gel eyeliner like like you cannot leave this container open otherwise it's gonna dry up so quick for that i take my brush my liner brush i'm just gonna pick out kind of a lot of product in that case and i'm just gonna transfer the product on the back of my hand as i think i have enough i'm just gonna lift it out i'm gonna start with a very casual liner like now that i have applied my liner i'm just gonna take my fluffy brush and smudge it out Now that we have a black base in place, we can use an eyeshadow. But before that, I would like to complete my second eye. So I'm going to take more product, apply a very rough eyeliner. 
a basic eyeliner and we're just gonna smudge it out very slightly just blend it into the same place whoa this came out so good i think the intensity is too much on this guy but it looks gorgeous can you see that ah! i'm gonna add a little bit of brown using my huda palette i'm just gonna take some brown from here if you're looking for sharp edges you can always use a tape but i think like my personal recommendation would be to use a doctor tape instead to have sharp edges i generally use a layer of concealer first i apply a very natural under eye base start swirling around here i start sharpening it out here that it looks as natural as it can i'm gonna first pack my under eye and then i'm gonna move to the corner and i'm just gonna keep moving the brush upwards and it's gonna create a snatch on its own taking the same concealer i'm gonna conceal the rest of my face now in winter season you cannot forget a lip balm lip balms are the best hack to when you want to wear a totally matte look nothing beats a red blush but i think i'm gonna go with this pink a little bit like a little bit. before moving forward with the lower lash line i'm just gonna bake my under eye i'm just gonna leave some product here to settle in for the bottom lash line i'm gonna go in with the same brush that i used as a mixing a blending brush and i'm just gonna lightly swirl it around on the lower lash line i just want to give a little impression can you imagine what i have like three pigeons looking at me right now in front of me outside my window <laughs> that's so cute i have an odd thing i've given it a very light uh, blending under my lash line for my highlighter i'm going to go with my favorite one from wet and wild so many shades in it and i love it my hack to a super cheap bone is to take my product slidingly from the pan dust off the excess and just wipe it it will naturally disperse all the product to you itself and that is how i think a fan brush should be used i don't even need to look at a mirror before i do this because this is a very natural place to have a highlight on itself i'm all done with my base so let's move forward with a setting spray this is a fix plus actually this is not a setting spray but i want my makeup to melt in before i set it so that i know how exactly is it going to look like Using my curler from Color Bar, I'm just gonna curl up my lashes now. I find curler to be extremely useful, but for the longest, I have been scared of using a curler. I always thought that a curler would just pluck out my eyelashes and I would be devastated. What would I do without it? But now I have gotten rid of my fear. I think it's a very essential step to go. I'm gonna use my favorite mascara, the Colossal Range from Maybelline. This is so good. Like there is nothing that beats Colossal at mascaras. Like not even L'Oreal. I think the OG Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced is not as good as the one we get at a very affordable rate at a very affordable price here. It's just not as good. Do you see the difference that a curler just brought to my eyelashes? I think my eyelashes are very separated right now, and that is so cool. It is so hard to get your eyelashes to stick out individually. I'm gonna be very careful with my bottom lash line because I always mess it up. I'm just gonna use my eyebrow pencil from Root Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows. I want a very natural looking bush. taking my brown lip liners i'm not just going to outline my lips but also contour them any shade that is deeper is going to be very natural looking for a contour and it's just going to give you a contour in itself like a red would give it under a gloss i'm going to use my favorite lipstick from too faced this is sell out and this is a matte lipstick this is a perfect blend to pink and brown i guess this is going to be the final makeup look now let's do my hair before we put on the skirt and reveal so i've tied my hair into a ponytail and now i'm going to convert it into a bun this is sort of a rubber band that i scored from amazon and this was for under 250 rupees a steal i thought this would be a better alternative 
going and getting my hair made every single time I want to make a bun. I just twisted it all up and put it into a bun. I have a regular rubber band to secure this first. So in a total, I'm using about three rubber bands in here. Because my hair is so heavy, I have to use three rubber bands. Now I'm just going to place it above. Ooh, looks cute. So this is the final look. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye.